so one thing I wanted to ask was about uh, language in the budget that suggested that the government's going to be looking at opportunities uh, to uh, enable municipalities uh, to finance their needs and address growth pressures that they're facing uh, through their own forms of uh, different revenue mechanisms uh, and their own forms of taxation that uh, currently they're, they're not permitted to, to implement. Uh, I was just curious uh, how you, uh, Minister McQueen, uh, and the Prentice government plan to to balance uh, the importance of municipal autonomy, but ensure that our tax competitiveness is, is priority number one. Yeah, and that, and that's, a, that's a fair question, and uh, I think that uh, you know, so far, Ms. McQueen's done a very good job working with the MGA. Uh, we're going to continue that process uh, into the fall, uh, and then we'll have to sit down as a you know as a cabinet and make sure that uh, we understand that the growth pressures that communities have, especially our large communities. And of course, you know, we're investing a large amount of MSI funding into these communities uh, to the tune of $7.9 billion. So we're going to be very uh, cautious and very conscious of the fact that we are not prepared to allow any uh, new taxes come in that's going to take away from our, from our advantage that we have in Alberta moving forward. Again, there's only one taxpayer, whether it's municipal, provincial, or federal, all in the same pocket. So we're, we're very aware of that. And, We'll make sure that anything happens is done in a, in a manner that's not going to uh, cause a disadvantage for her.